Hello dwarf dwarflings and welcome back to Lenos Dude's land, the sequence. Last episode we ended off with um us talking about becoming the new round home. Since then that caravan has come and we now have the required offerings to become the round home. So hopefully we should be seeing that unless there's some sort of requirement I don't know. Now unfortunately between this episode and the last episode I uh, lost some footage. Uh, just the boot, I've extended the museum here and we had a new artifact. Uh, that's about all that happened besides the caravan coming in. We are also about 25% of the way done with building the screw pumps, but that's not even half the project. This is such a slow build. Um, but yeah, we are making progress. A vile force of dark. Okay, guys, deal was just crap again. So, where are these goblins? Probably in the top wrap. There they are. Okay, squads. A and B go to here. I want you to do a move order there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the mark towards. We're going to move them um, to about here okay and let's see just so that my project over here isn't messed up what i'm going to do is i'm going to designate this area as a burrow that should be good enough eh this way it's in the burrow okay Actually, I'm not going to do it with those kinds of dimensions uh, because it's going to leak out into the cave and I don't want the burrow to go into the cave because that might cause trouble later on. Uh, what I will do is I will just designate that area and then what I'll do is I'll go here and then we'll just designate this five by or 6x6 six six area instead. And yeah, we'll make it like that. And that should be good enough. Then we can go to MA alert tier 2. That shouldn't cancel their tasks. Um, there can be some problems with canceling tasks. Or like when you put something into a burrow and you still have tasks and those tasks are outside of the burrow. Sometimes they'll cancel those tasks and that becomes pretty annoying. Uh, especially later on in the game. When you've just designated an entire section to be built and then oh no it's deleted so yeah I might as well designate the areas that aren't in immediate danger from being sieged as burrow so like everywhere inside the fort can be just burrowed and who knows maybe we'll just make a straight up off surface so like everything below the surface will be a burrow instead of this in fort burrow but that should be good enough for now all of our dwarves are Side burrow and all of the hammer dwarves and whatnot should be going out. So we come up here to actually let's zoom out too. Our goblins are up there. How many are there? It doesn't look like there there's that many. Yeah, there's about like six, and it doesn't look like there's any more coming. And yeah, those guys are just blow gunners down there. Those are in the caves. Okay, so let's just change these two orders from a station order to a uh what just happened? Snatcher, okay. A B okay, K attack, selection list. Uh let's see here. Um go down. Okay, none of those guys got. Okay, these guys. D E F G H I J and get order. Murder them all. Okay, perfect. And we should be seeing the. Uh, yeah, up here. See, they're already going up. Should be a matter of time. This guy's fighting a child snatcher with a baby in hand. What the. And that guy must have like huge balls. Actually, it's probably a girl since 
Um, I'm pretty sure usually it's the woman who carry the babies in this game, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's check this person's profile. Okay, that's the baby. I, oh wait, I forgot. V next and profile. Er, no stats. Uh, that's the preferences. Yeah, it's a girl. That's where I saw it. But enough focusing on just the minor details. Let's go see these guys fight. Well, and gals. Oh, you can see I just saw a couple of arrows being exchanged there. As you can see, that hammer dwarf must have just uh, zoomed right on ahead and just got straight into the action. Uh, the siege icon's already gone, so they must have already killed them. But clearly there are still some remnants because this order has not stopped. And it won't stop until every last person here is dead. This guy is clearly trying to retreat. He's moving back. However, these dwarves are faster than him. So they should be able to catch up. I would think. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Turned off the alert anyway since this battle is over. And now you can see those dwarves finishing them up. Is there anyone left? No. Squad should be um, done. Or not. That's a bug. Because one of them managed to leave. And they are still trying to find him. So, with that, all the goblins are dead. And the crisis has been averted. Alrighty then, so we've gotten done with this pump stack. Uh, it took a lot of work, a lot of job calculations. Uh, Redesignations, however, for finally done, and I'm ready to build in the power source for this. This is going to power the entire thing for this uh, whole pump stack here, so we're going to get the, that dug out and then uh, linked up. So uh, that should honestly be quite quick, and then we're of course going to have to build a power stack for the one right here too as well. So yeah, we'll get that finished, and then. After that, we need to build the water tank, and we'll be ready to go. To be honest, I knew it was going to happen eventually, but I said it would be a dwarf to do it first. Stasos Uspermato, Goblin Bard, is brawling under the influence. Okay, let's see how this is going. Um, probably should be this guy, yep. This guy should be getting the crap beat out of him pretty soon. Surprised we don't have a bouncer in here. Yeah, he's getting beat. <laughs> I'm really surprised the goblins or the dwarves didn't get drunk first, but here we go. Man, just harassing that poor philosopher, it looks like there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's drunk. Completely intoxicated. Man, you better lay off the alcohol. Alright, this situation's gonna sort itself out probably, so we'll just leave it be. I don't know why, but the fort has suddenly gone insane. Ah, uh, frick. Um, saw one of those fire thing. There's, uh, remains of bolts everywhere. This woodcutter is going insane, so. You know what? It's, I think it's time to put you down, buddy. I'm sorry, but we can't have you going insane. Uh, maybe we can kill him? No, we can't kill him. Okay. Uh, second best option. Theft of uh, disorderly conduct. Okay, we are going to search for that woodcut. There, that should get him convicted. And maybe that problem will be done. But he is going around on a huge tantrum. Uh, along with that goblin that was going on earlier, but I think he's been dealt with. What, uh, that militia captain, I believe, is the, uh, what? There should be, like, a solitary goblin, you know? Wait, no, we got rid of that to what? I'm going insane. I remember when we made that uh, one goblin go after that for God he's to lure him out. Yeah, that was the guy I was talking to, but I remember I removed that squad. Um, but anyway, I don't know why this... Why are you guys... Mm, must be... 
with color. I think as long as we deal with that guy, should be fine. But I am seeing what the heck. Those were arrows flying. Okay, we've gone insane. Is this what they call a tantrum spiral? Is that what? You know what? I'm gonna do something. That should kill everyone's priorities. And if I turn that back on. There. Okay, so. That might have done something. Where's that human bard? I'm pretty sure I can kill him at least. Uh, human bard. How many of those do we have here? We have multiple and I don't know what they're doing. Okay, what's going on? Curlip. This guy's just running away. Uh, what the heck? What the heck? Wait, who was interrupted in the first place? Herbalist, okay. Why was you see him fighting? I don't get it. I don't get it. Everyone's gone insane. Why is that militia captain going insane? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Why were you fighting in the first place? <laughs> okay. So, Zulpin, that's right. You are being relieved of duty. And being replaced by this farmer. There we go. And that human bard, which is... Curlip. If I go to others, this guy. Oh, you know what? This might be one of those plots. Anyway. Squats. A, B, C. Kill this guy. And let's see. Anyway, one of the things with the plots, as we were seeing, they attempt to make your dwarves go crazy by cooing them. So, maybe this could be one of those situations. I don't know. I've never had this situation before except for that one time when I made a, um, a necromancer only fort and then they started fighting amongst themselves and their creations and it got messy really fast. But these guys are just normal people. I don't know why they're going insane like this. No idea indeed. Anyway, I sent the uh, units after that guy to go kill that guy. So let's see how they're going. Uh, Z go to unit. Follow. Yeah, they're going straight down and dead. Okay, where is this? Uh-huh. There's another human bard fighting. No. It was just that one. That must have been an old report. Okay. Uh, yeah, our total population has been knocked down a bit. Sheesh. Um, but you know what? That's no problem. You know what? I'm gonna get to... Why is that child fighting now? Okay, that's it. What the heck is Justice doing? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna figure this all out. Okay, so my game crashed. I don't know why. Um, but I'm going to take this opportunity and start investigating and jailing random people, especially if we have any death slayers on board. Uh, anyone like that? Yep, you. Okay, actually, that's. Well, yeah, okay, you are going to get killed. Um, profile? No? Okay, squads. Uh, let's just get these guys to K attack this elf bard. Yeah, he just got shot immediately. Yep, 
Yeah. Murdered. Blood, 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 blood. That guy's still alive. Okay, let's get the hammer lords on this guy now. How is this guy not? Did, 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 that, did that guy kill one of our dwarves? Yeah, one of the, uh. One of the, um. Mark's dwarves, whatever, they're dispensable. Okay, is that guy dead? Yeah, they're dead. Okay, just murder those guys, because they are always up to no good. Now, what I'm gonna do is. Start investigating random people. Uh, let's just go to justice. Uh, building destruction. He's deceased. Okay, whatever. We can do interrogation. Uh, just let's see. Every bard, we are going to interrogate. Okay, so I just sampled a random portion of the population, mostly goblin poets, dancers, whatnot. Uh, to be uh, interrogated. The reason why I chose poets, bards, and whatnot is because they're from Alfort, therefore they're the most likely to become part of a plot or something. Now then, back to the real problem. What is the damage to my... Oh, crud. Yeah, my progress on this thing has been completely reset. Uh, okay, I'll get that done. Heck, the save brought me before we got invaded by the goblins. Ah, <sighs> what a freaking nightmare. Anyway, so we're gonna let them through again, and then I'll just repeat this whole uh, washboard of a battle. Anyways, in regards to um, yeah, this natural. In regards to uh. Preventing that little tantrum spiral earlier in the previous save. What we can do is uh, try to uh, liven things up here a bit. You know, add some more statues. Um, what this is going to do is when dwarves walk past them, they will see them and get a happy thought. Now, I did notice earlier that some of the dwarves. We're going in, we're um, very depressed and having little tantrums, which probably contributed to that bit of problems we were having earlier. So I'm just going to place these down, and uh, that should help with some of the situations. Uh, another thing, of course, is just to engrave the whole area again. So if I go to designate engrave, we should be able to engrave. Uh, that area, then I'm just going to engrave uh, this stone. Uh, why not? And do this stuff up here. Then what I want to do is all this stuff down here. If it can be engraved, I want it engraved with the dealio that I'm going for. Of course. Not sure why that can be. Oh, that's because it's a wall. So basically, massive engraving undertaking is what's going on here. And of course, we'll do the bottom portion too, but that doesn't look like there's much we can do. So I'll pause, and people were just start engraving like crazy. Uh, of course, we also want this portion engraved as well, including the Baron's headquarters over here okay and besides that that should also get some happy thoughts from the actual act of engraving anyway that goblin invasion was dealt with swiftly you can see the siege is over and we are in the clear now about the depressed wars we can also do is if we go to our military we can make a new squad uh no uniform uh, let's name these ones uh, Seraphy, I guess. And we'll put the depressed dwarves in here because martial arts can give a dwarf a happy thought. So we'll put all the depressed guys into here.
and they'll be able to train up those skills. Uh, actually, besides that, um, if I go back to end uniforms, uh, or I mean equip, and then you assign uniforms, I'm just going to give them metal armor. And that should be good enough. So yeah, we'll get the depressed guys in there. Alright, so I got the uh, guys who have their motion problems into the squad. Interestingly, um, the vampire that was having mood issues earlier is actually pretty okay now. They're pretty neutral, not happy, not sad, but they are fine, and that's pretty good. So maybe we can do what we did for that vampire for these three dwarves here. So a little bit of an update here. I just realized that when the dwarven caravan came around last time, my mayor was not accessible. And I just switched the mayor to someone else, the captain of the guard. And suddenly, uh, the liaison, who has been sitting around here for a couple seasons, is able to talk to us. Because I always forget about that. Nice, elevated in the eyes of the realm. And I don't request anything. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is useless now, by the way. Yeah, you can't do anything about that. And let's see, elevated in the eyes of the land. Well, we are still a bar barren, but that is fine. Uh, let's see, becoming capital, that's done. So maybe we might be seeing that once the liaison is actually allowed to go back. But who knows? Uh, besides that, we're almost done redoing this group up here, and hopefully we'll be back to the point where we started. I haven't had any problems with tantrums. So I think our plan's going along well. I will make a couple more gold statues just to dot around the place though. So. Okay, so I'm done redoing the screw pumps. They're all built up again. Um, and I just designated the power plant. Now last time I was intersecting with this area, which I didn't realize, so I just built it a little further back. Shouldn't be too bad, should be, because if you know axles take up power too. And that's going to be this length here. But however, that shouldn't be much of an issue because the thing that we use uses a thousand power. It produces a thousand power surplus. And this takes up 970. However, I do think I should make a backup generator now that I think about it because, you know, stuff happens. Uh, I'm going to want some backup every once in a while. So I'll just make up. Uh, just another one here, right there, and yeah, that should be good enough. And yeah, they'll all just all be linked up together. That should provide roughly 1,500 power. This has 970 for its requirements, just as a note. And yeah, that should be good once we get it all built up. I'll show you how it works once we have this all dug out. But uh, yeah. Let me get it all dug out. Alright, so I got this area dug out. I just have designated trap stops here. Now, uh, first thing you're going to do is obviously dig out this kind of pattern here. Um, but for the track stops, you want them to set to dump south. And I'll just show you how to do that right now. So when you build your track stop, you can see that if we go up here, see you can set it to dump on your arrival. So you just change the direction. And right now we've got set to dump on arrival stops, and that basically just picks which cardinal direction it wants to dump the item it has into. All these are dumping south or down into an empty space. So if there was a cart here and then it had water, it would dump it down into this slope here. Uh, next up, what you want to do is you want to have a is you uh, want to have a hauling route. So you just press H and then new route and uh, I'm going to name this reactor one. And then I'm going to create a new stop and I'm going to assign a vehicle to that stop. Uh, that should be B, this guy right here. So, and then you just do that for all of them. Alright, so I got all of them done, except for I did do these first three wrong. Um, the stops are supposed to be on the track stops. So I can press new stop on reactor 1 and assign the track vehicle to it. 
And as you can see, that's where it's supposed to be, the green flashing, right? Remember to place it on the track stop. Or else you're going to have to go back and redo it like I'm doing now. And that should be the last one. Okay, now we're going to get all these built and placed. And after that, we're going to be begin filling these up with water. Okay, so all the track stops are built. They're placing the minecarts down. Now all I'm going to do is uh, get them to dump water into here. Um, so how we do that is we place the zone and we label it to be a pit slash pond. Then we set the uh, set it to is pond. It uh, always starts as is pit. If you set it to is pond, the dwarfs will come down and fill it. And then we just do this on one by one tiles for over each one of these spaces. Uh, be careful not to assign any animals into these. And uh, we repeat this process for each one of these holes. You can actually stack them over each other. However, with this many holes, I find it that um, it is unnecessary. All right, so I just got all those zones set up. If you go to zones, you can see all those zones are set up and the dwarves should be dumping water buckets into them. Um, however, I do hope the mine carts get placed in there first. Now, once all the water is placed, we can add the water wheels. And uh, boy, won't that be fun. Of course, uh, most of my mine carts are led due to that grinder project I was working on a while ago. So it is going to take them about 1 billion years to get down there to place the track vehicle. Because lead is quite heavy if you didn't know. Odal Obok Kobar Kork is taken by a grey mood. Oh my, the stop recording button didn't work, however it does not matter because he has claimed the leather works. So he's probably going to make something out of it, probably just like a claws or something. Let's see what he does though. Onal Okubu has begun a mysterious construction using mudstone, cassowary leather, giant slug leather, coffee wood logs, copper bars, granite blocks, point cut lace agates. Table cut emeralds, copper bars, stray donkey full bone, and who knows what he may make. Now going back to the reactor setup here, um, we have placed in all the minecarts. They managed to bring it down here, even though they were lead. Uh, very impressive, strong dwarf. Um, however, I am nearing the end of the episode, so um. We'll get this finished up tomorrow. We'll have the reactor fully functioning. Additionally, we'll see what that artifact is. And I will see you all later. Um, if you like the content, like and subscribe to the channel and video. And if you want a dwarf named after you, comment it in the section below or message me on Discord. Either or, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!